here are five top tips to introduce positions and formations to your team. My tip number one is when you're talking through a formation with the children is to use their water bottles. You get lots and lots of different coloured water bottles, loads with different patterns on them and you grab the children's water bottle and put it in a position that they're playing. So you might then be talking about two centre backs in here, you've got one child's water bottle and the other and they can then easily follow and understand their water bottle represents them and it's a great fun technique to use when you're working with a group of children especially within the foundation phase to walk them through a formation to then showcase to them the types of movements that they might make on the football pitch. Tip number two is to use flat discs within your training sessions. If you haven't got flat discs then you can use normal cones however they might be best on the side of the football pitch. When you've got your little match set up within your training session if you can get a number of flat discs marked out on the pitch the children can then use that as reference points and you might for example start with maybe your goalkeeper and you want them to be a little bit higher up the pitch when their team has possession so what you can do is you can pop a flat marker in the middle of the pitch where you want them to stand when the ball's in the attacking half the other thing you can do as i said if you haven't got flat discs you can use these markers on the side of the pitch either side of the area that you're playing so the goalkeeper can then use that as a reference point of where they should stand when the ball's in the other half and this works for all positions on the football pitch and you can use it at certain points within the game as triggers for example once again whenever the goalkeeper gets the ball you might have a flat marker on the pitch for where you want the striker to stand to try and stretch the play so there are loads of creative ways you can do it tip number three is to use a tactics board it's old school and has worked for many a year and is a fantastic way to get the children involved in their learning so when you're talking through different formations and maybe where the children need to be at certain times during the match or when the ball is in specific areas this is a great way to get the children to stand up to get them to move the counters on the tactics board so you might be playing a 3-2-3 formation you might try and explain to the children what you want them to do when the ball is in the attack in half and you can actually get the children to stand up to move the counters and then you can check their learning with the other peers within the group and it's a fantastic tool that I've used both within grassroots and academy football. Tip number four is to set up a mini pitch like I've done just in here and get the children to physically stand in their positions and in their formations. What you can then do is introduce a football and you can pass the football around the pitch and get the children just to catch it to start off with and you can then say to the children right where do you need to be when our right back has the ball? Where do you need to be when the ball transfers over to our left back? Who needs to be ready to receive it when our left midfielder has the ball like this. So it's a great way to show a real visual representation of what they then do on the giant pitch and the normal size pitch. But it's a great way to transition from this pitch to that pitch and help them then transition of the movements and actions that they're doing in here to then on that full size pitch or whatever format they are playing. Once again, this is another tool that I've used both within grassroots and academy football that has worked really well, especially when I'm really trying to show the children where they need to be on the pitch when certain players have the ball and tip number five don't stress and don't panic the children will get it wrong from time to time but that's absolutely fine it's all part of their development journey and the other thing that's important that I wanted to slip into this video is the importance of getting children to play in different positions and formations variety is key to a child's development and learning if someone plays at centre back traditionally and then they go and play up front within a game they'll start to learn what the opposing defender does really well which they can then take back to when they go and play in defense again so giving children variety on a football pitch will help them learn from their opponents and their peers and it will also present loads of different opportunities a defender always has the game in front of them so when they go and play center midfield and the play is all around them they're working and developing new techniques they have to receive it in different ways and this really helps create an all-rounded player so hopefully these five tips have helped and if they have make sure you subscribe.